What's up guys, it's your cousin here, and today I'm going to be showing you one of the most efficient ways to farm the Warglaze of Azanoth in the Black Temple with Illidan. And what you're going to need here is two things. You're going to need a rogue, I'm on my monk, I'll explain why in just a minute. And you're going to need either the ever-shifting mirror or the Black Temple pendant. Uh, I can tell you the name in just a minute, but uh, you're going to need the Black Temple pendant that will teleport you straight to Black Temple. And so, the first thing you're going to do with this mirror which is what I have on my monk, which is the reason I'm on my monk. Remember, we're going to be doing this on a rogue when I switch in just a minute. But what this is going to do is when you hurt to your garrison, you just click it, and it'll summon a little spirit, and what you're going to want to do is follow that spirit. Now, this spirit basically is going to teleport you to, or it's not going to teleport you, it's going to bring you to a teleport in Shadowman Valley or any other place inside of Draenor. So basically what it does is it, teleports you to the equivalent of what Outland would be in Outland or on Draenor. So you can it works both ways as well. So it does work in Outland and if you want to get somewhere in Draenor quickly, if you're in Outland, it works the same way. So what you're gonna to want to do, follow the spirit. The spirit is always in the same place. So you can see ahead, there's a portal, a reflective portal. It's a nice little portal. And what we're gonna <coughs> what we're gonna to wanna to do is click the portal going to take us to Shadow Moon Valley and the equivalent of the Burning Crusade in Outlands. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to mount up from here. But this is going to be the part where I switch over to my rogue and I'm going to show you exactly what to do for the rest. Alright, so we're here in the Black Temple and I'm going to go ahead and start this timer and I'm going to time how fast we get through Black Temple with these skips and tricks. Basically, you can just skip all the bosses and go straight to Illidan. The only ones that we're going to have to kill is Council, just so that way we can unlock the door and we can get through. But remember, this only works on a rogue, so just keep that in mind. So I'm going to start the timer. We're going to go. So basically, what the skip is going to want to do, or what the skip is going to do, is it's gonna put us through walls and you might think that that's like you know impossible whatever but it's not you know it's pretty easy especially you know if you're a rogue you can just teleport around and it's not that big of a deal so pretty much we're just running all the way to the top just like we'd usually do and since I'm a rogue I could just spam burst of speed all day and so that's pretty nice burst of speed is like the best uh, also I guess another thing that you're going to need for this one is Tomes of Clear Mind to switch your talent between Burst of Speed and Shadow Step because you will need Shadow Step. Uh, one thing, you need to pull these. These are important. These are an important part. Actually, I actually just messed up. Let's fix that really quick. So what you're going to do is swap your talent first from Burst of Speed to Shadow Step. So go ahead and swap that quickly. Messing up my speed run. Here we go. So we're going to do that. We're going to pull these aqua guys all the way to the top. And all the way to the top. They're almost here. And you might think, oh, the gate's locked. You know, like, we're not going to be able to get through it because we didn't kill the bosses. But uh, what you don't realize is rogues have a way of getting through things. And I'm going to show you. You want to kind of bug these mobs out to go through the wall. You just keep running back and forth until one of them splits through the wall. And just give it just a minute see he threw the wall we're gonna shadow step him oh it's not on my bar we're gonna shadow step him and we're through the wall right away bam look at that easy simple as that gonna vanish we're gonna mount back up and we're gonna go so from here you actually uh, I lied you need to kill supremus supremus is too big of a wall to go through obviously so supremus only takes a second to kill so it doesn't really matter and we're gonna go kill Supremus. We get up here, running. We're running. Supremus is dead. Soulcat proc making this delayed. I don't have my macro to cancel it on the combat spec, so I'll just pre-cancel it. Loot all that. Nice little pet. Probably sells for like 500 gold. And we're gonna run all the way up here. We're gonna stealth out for the movement speed bonus from Night Stalker and we're going to pull all of these mobs right here and so it's basically the same thing with this door what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna pull these and we're gonna pull them to the door and when we see one that is 
glitched through the wall. Not really glitched, just the way they kind of move. Once we see one that is through the wall, we're going to target it. And we're going to shadow step them. And it's pretty simple. Once we get this one of these guys. Alright. Looks like he's through the wall. We shadow step him and we're in. Easy as that. Vanish. Oh, apparently vanish doesn't work, so we're going to kill him. Just kill, just kill, just kill. Alright. And we're back. From this point, we can, after this debuff falls off, we're going to switch back to burst of speed because we have a little bit of running to do until we get to the next wall skip. So, stealth out for the movement speed bonus. Keep going, keep going. Just keep running. Probably shouldn't attack that, I probably should have just kept running, but it's all good. Pump Shadow Mill to get back in stealth. It's not that big of a deal. I guess it was a big deal. Got weakened hard from that. Cloaked that off though, so I, I lied. It's not that big of a deal still. Maybe, uh, maybe we can get like a speed run of this. Um, I'm gonna kill her now that I think about it. It's probably faster than trying to get the Shadow Step to the door glitch. So we're gonna kill her. Just keep running. And we're going to kill the council. Because council unlocks Akama's movement and we need Akama to start the Illidan encounter. So, so far as you can see it's only been close to five minutes and usually a normal Black Temple run would take you about 15, 20, 30. So it might save you a lot of time. And it's better than having to deal with the essence boss and have to deal with all the RP while you have to wait and kill all those mobs. And It's just annoying. Nobody wants to deal with that. You know, this is wad. Like, everything's easy. You might as well just unlock all the doors. <laughs> but yeah. uh, Kill this council. One ambush should do it. And the soul cap procs again. Loot them. Don't really have to loot them. Start the Akama encounter. Or start the Akama RP. And then we're going to get Akama up top to start the Illidan encounter. And when we get to the Illidan encounter, we're going to kill Illidan. Unfortunately, I haven't found a way to get past his RP, but maybe someone else has. And if you have, uh, maybe leave a, uh, a strategy, I guess. A strategy or a... Uh, an idea, I could try it. It would be nice. You can skip this door, but it doesn't really matter because either way, you have to wait for a comma to uh, unlock it anyway, or uh, get to the top so you can start the encounter, like I was saying earlier. So it's kind of lame, but it is what it is. You know, we're just gonna have to wait, boys. So. We can go run around and fly around with our bat wings. Come on, you're delaying the speed run, Akama. Hurry up. Akama and his boys. Damn. And we're going to get through the door. We wait for him to get to the summit. Once he's at the summit, we can start the encounter. Once we talk to him. Hurry. You've already delayed me for almost two minutes. Let's go, fat man. Alright, here we go. You are not prepared, and I'm actually prepared, and I'm prepared for those damn war glaives to drop, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, we're just waiting from here. So all that, all that RP we can't skip, sadly. Just a nice little moon. You can see the council. 
area from here. Not really much else. I mean, I'm sure you guys have been up here more than I have. Sadly, this is only, like, able to be skipped on a rogue. But, uh, maybe I could try to learn on a windwalker. Like, maybe, uh, there might be some kind of trick with transcendence, maybe? I, I don't really know. But I wouldn't mind trying to discover one and figure one out for you guys. Just to make farming these bosses, these old school raids, uh, more efficient and less of a time consumer. It's a good thing Soul Cap Rock here, so that way I can just skip everything. Yeah, he's dead. So, doesn't kill him. Still have to wait for RP, sadly. And we're gonna wait for him to throw down his war glaives. Wish I could just snatch him up from there. That was a lag. Still had two of them for a second there. He's here. Kill him. Run over to the next one. Kill him. Simple, simple. Just hanging out now. I mean, should might as well just dance or something. Shit. Look at how many moves. Uh oh. I always like, like, one of my favorite things to do when I was, like, farming Illidan was trying to find, like, one of the coolest poses to, like, get frozen in, you know? Like, if you guys ever taken screenshots of your character, like, doing a backflip or something, like, maybe you guys could, like, leave that in the comments if you guys have any, like, imgers or anything of the, like, you getting frozen in a cool position or, like, your character's body getting all, like, out of, out of whack and everything. Like, I've seen that happen before, too. I've seen a, a character's arm, like, float off into, like, the middle of nowhere, and then he was able to just keep, I don't know, keep still, I don't know, and then <laughs> just keep frozen, I guess, and he would just, his arm would just be, like, floating off, like, over there or some shit. Just weird. Weird glitches in this game. But yeah, uh, getting ready to stop, and it's about a total of almost ten minutes after we land the final killing blow. I'll stop the timer. And stop the timer. So 10 minutes and 9 seconds with a few mistakes. No war glaze, sadly. Would have been a perfect video if I would have got both war glaze, wouldn't it? But yeah, that's pretty much it. And yeah, that is pretty much it. So if you guys liked the video, uh, feel free to like or comment or just subscribe to me. I got plenty more videos like this and plan to like a, make a lot more. So I appreciate it, and thanks for your time. Bye-bye.